In 1985, Joe Montana and the 49ers Super Bowl win, the discovery of the Titanic, Calvin and Hobbes comic strip humor, and Michael J. Fox's starring role in Back to the Future were all grabbing headlines in Tacoma, Washington. But there was also this local story applauding the fundraising efforts of one man. Dr. Gordy Klatt, a cancer surgeon, circled a track in Tacoma for 24 hours, raising $27,000 for the American Cancer Society. It was the birth of the Relay for Life. It's an interesting feeling here that uh, it's hard to describe sometimes, but I like to describe it as a celebration. For those who saw and were touched by that very first relay, its future quickly became clear. We knew then there was something special happening during those 24 hours. What we started as a fundraising event turned into an event that wraps its arms around everything the American Cancer Society is. This year, Dr. Klatt, the people of Tacoma, old friends and new, gathered in the same stadium to celebrate Relay's 20th birthday and its extraordinary international success. Since that first Relay in Tacoma, raising $27,000, Relay for Life has raised $1.5 billion. And so what I can say to you tonight that I couldn't have said to you when Gordy ran around the track for 24 hours is that you now have 9 million cancer survivors in the United States of America because of what you got started. Each year it's a different experience. I've been a cancer survivor for 13 years, but have suffered five reoccurrences. Right now, it's very special for me to physically be here, to be alive, and to celebrate this event. It's something I look forward to uh, as, a, as a goal of mine, to survive another year and participate in the relay. We now talk not only of five-year survivals and 10-year survivals and 15-year survival rates, but now we talk, and we mean it, we talk about cure. Well, ACS has been a really important part of, the, of my research throughout my whole career, about 30 years or so. These are the people that, we're, that are funding us and the people that we're really working for, in a sense, trying to understand this uh, horrible disease. This little light of mine. So let's remain quiet here in this beautiful ball tonight, remembering those who have lost the battle remembering those who are fighting the battle and remembering those who have been victorious in the battle. When thousands of people gather in common cause to eliminate a disease, that hope becomes tangible. The American Cancer Society Relay for Life is the hope that we will never, ever forget those we have lost to this disease. It is the hope that we will continuously support those who are currently battling the disease. And it is the hope that in working together, there will be a day when no one has to hear those words, you have cancer. Millions of relayers across the country would like to offer their thanks to you, the people of Tacoma. For you offered us the gift of relay. You offered us the gift of hope. You make a difference. Me and my friend got 27 laps, and so we're just, we were just pumped, ready to go. So much fun, I love it. <laughs> Come out, enjoy the fun, give the support to all the people. Let them know that having cancer is not a death sentence anymore. That you can survive, and there are people out there that are going to help you. And they asked me if I would come and run on um, two legs. 
And so I, I thought, well, yeah, I'll come down for that time. I'll do that 30 minutes, and I'll come back and do another 30. After the first 30 minutes, I went home and packed a bag and came back and spent the night. And it's been that way ever since. Because there's not a cure yet. There are still people who are fighting it and people who are dying from it. And until we get a cure, I'm going to be back every year. And when the day came to a close, this community had one more inspiring reason to celebrate what they began 20 years before. This year, we're leaving the event today with $770,000. The impact that we have had will ultimately lead to a huge difference in how cancer is treated. That difference leads to hope, and hope is the reason we relay.